Sydney Solis, and this is Storytime Yoga. So we get to move our bodies and learn about stories to your stories, world stories. So you ready? Todos listos? Everybody ready? Would you please open that box? Would you just open it up and what's in there? Can you take that out? Open that up. What is it? What is this? The ladybug. Oh. Hola. Como están? She says, hi, how are you? Everybody happy today? Hola. This is Lalita, and she's a marequita. What is a marequita? Yeah, it's a ladybug, right. Ella habla español. She speaks some Spanish. She likes to speak Spanish. And I love to speak Spanish, too. Because did you know that a person who speaks two languages, it's like you're worth two people. So we like to play with that. Hmm. And I like to do poesia. Oh, she likes poetry. Would you like to tell us one just to get us all warmed up? Sure. I made it up myself. Oh, goody, goody, goody. <coughs> Coffery, chicory, Tacoma, two to Hatchapi, one for you and one for me, gilly, gilly, kitty, kitty, chicory, coffery, to Hatchapi. <laughs> oh, muy bien, aplaude, aplaude, aplaude. Well, thank you so much. Well, you too can do poetry in your house. You can write silly things like Lalita likes to do. But she also has a very special job to do. What do you do? Oh, la disciplina. Oh, yes, we learn discipline, because yoga is a discipline. We learn how to control our bodies so that we can do the best in our life. We can become the best that we want to be, right? So there's just a few little reglas, some rules that we'll do. So there's no just like shouting out, ah! We want to like raise your hand, and I'll ask you some questions, and you can say things out nicely. And we don't like, go into other people's space and right? We can stay on our mat. And then maybe we don't roll up our mat and so forth like that. So that's what Lalita is. She'll be watching. Gracias, Lalita. De nada. So here's her little yoga mat. And now, why don't we all just go ahead and have a seat? Oh, hey, don't forget about me. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, Mr. Bones. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Hi, hi, boys and girls. So nice to see you. My name's Mr. Bones. Thank you, Mr. Bones, for coming along. And he has a very special job, too. Oh, yeah. Did anybody of you bring some water? How many of you brought some water? My water? Oh, I got my water right here. Do you know that we need to drink lots and lots of water to keep our bodies healthy? So after yoga class, be sure to drink lots of water. Right, Mr. Bones? That's right. Keep your body healthy, your kidneys and your organs functioning really healthy. Oh, and what else should we know, Mr. Bones? Oh, you got to eat healthy. Did you guys eat some really good fruit and veggies and things all day yesterday? How many of you ate really good food last yesterday? An you ate an apple? Oh, that's great. What else? Who else did people eat some veggies and fruit? What about you? An orange. Oh, that's terrific. That's super duper great. And to eat breakfast this morning? Yeah? Okay, good. Did you? Yeah? Everybody out there? Good. It's good to eat lots of good food. That's what Mr. Bones. And what else, Mr. Bo oh, Mr. Bones? You know what, though? I love chocolate. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay to have some sweets, just in moderation. Okay, so just a little bit of sweets, right? Then we'll be stay healthy. Okay, and Mr. Bones also, he'll help us out with a little anatomy. I mean, look what he can do. It's easy for him to put that behind his neck. He'll teach us a little bit about it. He's getting a little rickety here. Urgh. He can do things. So he'll be there to help us out. So, so the first thing we're going to do is... He fell over. Oh, Mr. Bones fell over. Oh, I'm just practicing. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit crisscross applesauce. And we're going to just take a look at our posture. Now, if I'm sitting like this, do I look happy? Now, what if I sit like this? Do I look happy? Okay. Yes, I feel so much happier, too. So we can feel like we're very important. So you can tuck your fingers underneath there. I'm so very important. You are important. Your heart opens. So now we're going to bring our hands together, and we're just going to sing a little song. It's called the Namaste song. And Namaste means that, gosh, 
I see the beautiful light and goodness in you. I see it in you too. It's in you and 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 it's in everybody. It's in our president and it's in the people that we don't like too. So we can honor and respect everybody. So we're going to sing a little song. It goes like this. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me say namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. So you want to sing with me? Take a deep breath in. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me say namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. And let's bow. Bowing is a sign of respect. So next we're going to learn how to breathe. Do you breathe? Does everybody breathe? What does it mean if we're breathing? Are we like Mr. Bongs? Dead. Or are we alive? We're alive. So our breath really brings us into our body and our breath is so important. So let's just take a deep breath in through our nose and then breathe out through your nose. Ah, breathe in again and breathe out. So we're going to sing a little song. I am breathing in. Take a breath in. I am breathing out. Breathe out. I am happy. Oh, so happy. I am breathing in. Breathe in. Fill yourself up. I am breathing out. In the here and in the now. Take a deep breath in again. And let it out. One more time, breathe in and breathe it out. Oh, it feels so good. It means we're alive and it's great to be alive. Let's say that. It's great to be alive. It's great to be, alive. It's great to be, alive. It's great to be me. It's great to be me. And give yourself a hug. Hug, hug, hug. Hug yourself. Yes, we always love ourselves. We take good care of ourselves. The love we have for ourselves and the belief in ourselves, that way we'll be kind to others and we'll have a very peaceful world, don't you think? And also, when we breathe, what if we're so angry we want to uh, do something? Somebody made me so mad. Do you think we could breathe? Breathe in and out. That could calm us down. What if we're really scared? There's something. There's something going to happen. I don't know what. Could we breathe and help us out? Let's do that. Breathe it in. What if we're really bored? Oh, no, Mom. Do we have to stand in the grocery checkout line again? What could we do? We could take a deep breath. Very good. Let's breathe in and out. Okay, now that we know that we're breathing and we're alive, let's move our bodies some, okay? So we're going to do a little warm-up. We're going to warm up on, on the seashore, okay? So make yourself tall. Show me that you're an important person. Show me your heart. And imagine that that beautiful light inside, you are a lighthouse. So take a breath in. And breathe out, look to the right. Breathe in, look to the left. And imagining that you are sending out light, bring it into the middle and out to the right. Breathe it into the center and out to the left. Ah, so that lighthouse, it's right inside your heart. You're always sending it out. Now let's be a seagull on the shore. Bring your arms out. Seagulls fly, right? Vuelan. So let's take a breath in and then exhale. Let your breath touch your body. Make it in your body. Breathe it in your, your wings. You are a seagull. Breathe it out. And then breathe it in again. Reach it up and breathe it down. Now, on the seashore, let's get into a little boat. Bring your feet forward. Here's your boat. Here's your oars. Make your tummy strong and we go, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Again, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And also for any kids who are back there and you want to join in, you're welcome to find a little spot anywhere or you can do it in the aisles, you can do it anywhere. Or you can definitely do it at home with your mom and dad, okay? All this stuff you can do at home. This is just the beginning. So, we're in our little boat and things are getting a little bit rocky. So let's inhale up our arm and over to your left. Breathe it in 
and over to your right. Breathe it in, feel your body, and over to the left. Up we go, over to the right, and up, and then back in our little boat. Let's round, exhale, it's a bumpy boat. Inhale, and exhale, good, round your body, open your heart. But things are getting a little bit bumpy. We're going to have to roll some more. So rolling on your back. Roll. Let's see you rolling. Rolling on your back. Rolling, rolling. The storm, the waves are getting more and more until you crash on the shore. Crash on the shore and touch your toes. Stretch and touch your toes. And now let's, um, along comes a little thing called a cangrejo. Anybody know what a cangrejo is? Well, it's a crab, a crab, and that crab comes along and he pinch, pinch, pinches, he pinch, pinch, pinches, he pinch, pinch, pinches, reach it up, good, press it up, good, and let's, oh, we better get up, so let's squat down, touch your toes, come all the way up, oh, bring all that energy we found in our practice and bring it into your heart, oh, how do we feel? Good, yeah, it's fun to do yoga. It's fun to be together. Okay, now we're going to do another warm-up, the sun salutation. Saludos al sol. Sal salutations to the sun. So we're going to start with our hands in our heart position. And I'm going to say it, and you're going to say it back to me. So let's do a little practice with the mountain pose. So bring your hands to your side. Can you feel your feet in the earth? Like, breathe your feet. We're in our bodies. Ah. So I'm going to say something, and you're going to say it back to me. So I am a mountain. I am a mountain. Strong and steady. Strong and steady. For everything now. For everything now. I am ready. I am ready. Can you feel that in your body? You're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Sun salutation. Repeat after me. The sun, the sun. The sun, the sun. I salute the sun. I salute the sun. I open my heart. I open my heart. To everyone. To everyone. The sun rises. The sun rises. And the sun sets. And the sun sets. The whole world. The whole world. In my heart rests. In my heart rests. Again I arise. Again I rise. So you're a snake, a serpiente, so you get to Let's see some hissing. Good. Ready to, live. Ready to live. So now you're a perro. You're a dog. So what do dogs say? <laughs> Bring up your right leg. Fire hydrant. <laughs> and then your left leg. Fire hydrant. And bend your knees. Wag your little doggy tail. Good. Then bring your left foot forward again. Happy to be. Happy to be. And ready to give. And ready to give. The sun, the sun. The sun, the sun. I salute the sun. I salute the sun. I open my heart. I open my heart. To everyone. To everyone. Ah, so we feel a little heat. Feel a little hot. Let's do it again. That'll really get us pumped up. You could do this at home, right? Let's do it again. The sun, the sun. The sun, the sun. I salute the sun. I salute the sun. I open my heart. I open my heart. To everyone. To everyone. The sun rises. The sun rises. And the sun sets. And the sun sets. The whole world. The whole world. In my heart rests. In my heart rests. Again I arise. Again I arise. Ready to live. Ready to live. Oh. Right leg up, fire hydrant. Left leg up, yes, look at your beautiful bodies moving. And swing that open. Happy to be. Happy to be. And ready to give. And ready to give. The sun, the sun. The sun, the sun. I salute the sun. I salute the sun. I open my heart. I open my heart. To everyone. To everyone. Whew, now do we really feel like you could do that again and again and again and again and again and again. You could do it at home with your mom and your dad and your aunt and your uncle and your gerbil and your pets. 
all that. Fun, yoga is fun, being healthy. So now we've warmed up. Now we get to hear a story. So let's sit down. And I have a special friend. Oh, bonjour, mes amis. This is my friend Jean-Jacques Jean-Jean. And he's a little bit of a philosopher. He is a pirate. And he's got lots of things to tell us about stories and thinking and life, right? Like, what's this story we're going to hear about, Jean-Jacques? Oh, well, this story, it comes from England, and it is about following your heart. Oh, my goodness. I have lots of dreams that I want to do for myself, but sometimes it's scary. People say I shouldn't do it, or it's too expensive. Is that what? What should I do? Oh, you have a nightmare or something about it? So is that what it means by following your heart? Well, you must go through things. You must do whatever you wish to do with your heart says so. You should not be afraid. You should feel inside yourself what is the right thing. Oh, so that's what this story is about from England. Where is England? Does anybody know? Hmm. Is, it in, is it in Denver? No. No, where is England? It is partially over on the other side of the world. We got to get into an airplane and fly way east. And do they speak English in England? Yes. Yes, yes they do. So, you will learn from this story how to follow your heart and your dreams. And if you be true to yourself, ah, wonderful things will happen to you and you will live a very healthy, happy life. Well, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much, Jean-Jacques. You are welcome. So, He'll take a seat next to Mr. Bones. And this is the story of the peddler's dream. There was once a peddler, someone who goes and knocks on doors. Hey, you want to buy something? Look, I got a hat. You want to buy it? And sometimes they buy it, and sometimes they don't. Now, he was very happy. He loved what he did. And he lived way out in the countryside in a little house. And next to that house, there was a big apple tree. That apple tree was huge because it was so old. That apple tree was so old that the roots were coming up out of the ground and pushing up one side of the house. But he didn't mind. He loved his house. But one night, the peddler had a dream. He dreamed that a voice said to him, Go to London Bridge. Go to London Bridge. Go to London Bridge. Well, the peddler, he woke up and thought, what a strange dream, a voice telling me to go to London. Oh, I can't go. It's so far away. Oh, it'd be expensive. I have to work. And he forgot about it. And he went to bed that night. But he had the dream again. Go to London Bridge. Go to London Bridge. Go to London Bridge. Via, via al Puente de Londres. He woke up again and thought, two times I've had that dream. No, I can't do it. Forget about it. So the next night, he went to bed. What do you think happened? He had another dream. What did the dream say? Go to London Bridge. Go to London Bridge. Go to London Bridge. And he woke up thinking, should I go? Do you think I should take a risk and go to London? Do you think so? Oh, but it's so far. Do you think I should go? No, no why not? What's going to happen? Well, that's good. I need to know. I need to have all the options. What do you think? He should go? Did you have to try it? It was a monster, maybe. It could be a monster. But I keep having this dream. Well, the peddler decided that he would go. He got up all his courage, opened up his heart, packed up a little food, and <whistles> said goodbye to his little house, and he went on down the road. Oh. Why, he went up hills and down hills. He went this way and that way. And my goodness, he was so glad he decided to take a risk and follow his dream. Why, he met new people. Mm, he tasted new food. It was fun. And then finally, he got to London Bridge. <gasps> he was so excited. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. And so he got there and he sat. And he sat. And he sat. Nothing happened. So he sat some more, and he sat some more, and the sun started going down behind the bridge, 
And he sat some more until, well, he went to bed. He sat right there and lay down and took a nap. And in the morning, he woke up and, surely something's going to happen now. Something will happen. So he sat and he sat and he sat and nothing happened. Finally, he thought, oh, what a fool I was, following my dream. Oh, and he just started to storm off. But just then, just then, there was a man, a shopkeeper, from across the way, who said, wait, wait. And the man stopped, the peddler stopped, and the shopkeeper said, hey, I've been watching you day after day. You've been just sitting there doing nothing. Why? Well, the peddler said, ha, huh, to tell you the truth, would you believe I had this dream? It happened three times, three nights it came to me, and it said, go to London Bridge, go to London Bridge. Well, here I am, it's all I get for following my dream, nothing. But the shopkeeper said, oh, would you believe I had a dream like that years ago? Ah, oh, I had a dream that somewhere way out in the countryside, there's an old apple tree who is so old that the roots are pushing up one side of the house. And that underneath that apple tree, there is a whole treasure chest filled with gold. Ha, huh, like I'm going to run all over the country looking for such a house. Dreams, that's all they are. But the peddler, he knew, he knew whose house that is and whose is it? It's his, it's the peddler. So he said, thank you very much. And he ran all the way home and he dug and dug and dug. And what do you think he found? The treasure. The treasure. All because he took a risk and he followed his heart and followed his dream. So that's the story. And now you get to help me retell that story with our yoga. So let's stand up. So, who can tell me who is this story about? Who is that? The peddler. the peddler. The peddler's our hero. And we are always the hero or heroine in our story. We're the ones going out into life. So let's take a hero posture. Let's begin at our mats in front. Let's find our breath and our hearts, because we're following our hearts. We're believing in ourselves. Let's take our left foot back and our right foot forward. Bring your arms up to a T. Breathe it in. Feel your body and bend your knee. Ah, oh, yes, we're just finding our bodies. Good, good. You can take your left hand back, right hand up. Ah, oh, feels so good. We're on a journey, right? Yes. Step back up, other side. We always want to do both sides. Right foot back, left foot forward, arms up to a T. Find your breath and bend that knee. Now, if we're going on a journey, and we're going to believe in ourselves, maybe we could affirm that. Let's say that. I believe in myself. I, myself. I, can, do I can do it. Yes, now we're ready. So where did our peddler live? What is our setting of a story? Anybody want to tell me? You know, what is it? Um, a countryside. The countryside. The big apple tree. A big apple tree. We can make an apple tree, right? So let's plant. Let's plant our right foot. Let's plant it. Really root it down there. We could put our left foot right there. Hands into heart. Make ourselves strong. We are rooted in the earth. Yet we're also growing toward the sky. We're creating in our lives. So then you can find that internal space and you can begin to journey upward wherever you feel. And we can wobble a little bit. And then you can bring your arms up. And we can flower. And we have twist, oh, we fall down twisty branches and waving in the wind. Twisty branches, waving in the wind. And then timber, <laughs> falling over. Oh, I just smashed Mr. Bones and Jean Jacques. Are you okay? We're fine. So, let's do the other side. Otro lado. La izquierda, let's plant the tree. Plant yourself. Root yourself. Draw that strength to the earth. Breathe it into yourself, and then feel like, are we ready to go forward? Are we ready to go on our journey? Yes. Then we know. We feel confident, and we can just, wherever it be, it could be here or here, anywhere. And we grow. Very nice. We grow. Could we grow? Flower. 
Twisty branches, other side, waving in the wind. Waving in the wind, nice, look at that. Woo, timber! So, who can tell me what happened to our peddler friend? He had a dream, un sueño, he had a sueño, he had a dream. What did that dream tell him? Go to London. Go to London, go to London Bridge. So did he do it? Yes. He did, he followed his dream. So we're gonna travel, we're gonna travel a little bit, let's do a triangle. Let's take our legs wide again. Arms to a T. So remember he went this way. And then to the other side and he went that way. So we're traveling in our journey of life, right? Breathing, turn it back to the other side, bend your knee, he went up a hill, and down a hill, back into your triangle, el triangulo, and the other side, otro lado, other side, arms up, so he went where he went, up a hill, and he went down, down the hill. Ah, and we have hills in our life too, right? Do we have ups and downs in our life? Moms and dads, do we have some ups and downs? Yeah, but we know there's always up and there's always down. It all kind of evens out. So finally he got to London Bridge, right? So let's make a bridge. El puente. So reach your arms up and at your hips. You can bend your knees if you want and stretch. Make it a bridge. Bridge. Good. And there's lots of other bridges we could do with our bodies. And when he got there, what did he do? He sat. He sat. And we're going to do Utkatasana, the chair pose. So bring your arms up. Bend your knees and have a seat. We can put your knees together, make your baby toes go, hi mom, hi, hi, baby toes. He sat and he, sat. he sat, good. And he sat. sat some more. Then what happened? He did go to bed, that sun went down, nothing happened, right? So he did go to bed, so we're gonna lie down and go to bed. So let's come down gently on your knees, and you're gonna bring your knees out to the side. Make your baby toes go, hi mom, hi. Baby toes are alive, right, hi. And then very gently, oh you all are already so flexible. Sit right down, oh it feels so good. Oh, so he's gonna take a little nap, but let's lie down. All the way back, gentle with yourself, bring your ankles to your sides. Arms up over your head and take a little nap. Ah, oh, feels so good. We could just stay here all afternoon. It's too cold outside to do anything else, right? So, put your elbows in the earth, push yourself up. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, another day, the peddler thinks, right? So we can get back up. What did the peddler do now? He sat. He sat some more. So you ready? He sat. And he sat. Yes, you guys can tell the story. And he sat. Yes, he did. Then what happened? He walked away and? Wait. Um, he saw a guy. He saw a guy who was wondering why he was sleeping. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's like, what's going on? And then what did the peddler tell him? Um, the peddler told him, I had a dream to come to London Bridge and I followed it. Followed it. So let's bring our, our other friend into the story. The other, the other shopkeeper, right? So we'll do a warrior three for this one. This one's kind of fun. So let's bring our hands together. Right leg back, left foot forward. Bend your knee, take a little baby step. And imagine that you're sending out energy through your hands. It's not a gun, but they're rays of love and kindness, right? So you can find somebody across from you and just send that ray of love and kindness to them. 
right? Warrior three, stretch it out. Oh, strong, bring your foot way up. There we go. Good. Otro lado, other side. So warrior three, this is our shopkeeper. He's bringing some rays of love to the peddler because he's kind of down and out, right? Do you ever feel down and out sometimes? But things always get better. Something happens, right? You just keep following your heart. Take a baby step, good. Draw into your core, send that ray of love and kindness to somebody across from you, out to the audience, whoa. Good. So what did that shopkeeper finally tell him? What? I told him that I had a dream like that and I was in this little countryside and a big apple tree that pushed a house over, not over, but like tilted it and there's a treasure. There was a treasure at the Sorio. There was a treasure underneath there. And the peddler knew it was his, right? And so he said, adios. And then what did he do? Ran he ran all the way home. So run, run home, running home, run, run home. And then let's dig up that treasure. So dig up that treasure. Find your breath. Are we alive? Are we still alive, breathing? Yes, dig up that treasure. Dig up that treasure and oh, treasure. Let's make our treasure chest. Come sit down. Put your feet together. Press those feet in there. Open your heart and bow down. Good. Remember that treasure, it's always inside your heart. There's more than just treasure in our treasure chest. Things that we can't really see. Bowing down. And then open your treasure chest. So you young man, if you had a treasure chest, what would you have in your treasure chest? Gold. <laughs> Gold. Okay, I'm asking you, what are you going to have in your treasure chest? Um, don't know. Don't know? Okay, so we'll take gold. Let's have some gold. So let's make up what gold would look like. Why don't we just make gold look like this, huh? With our body's right hand back. Cross your left. And then just twist, a nice little twist. I'll put your leg over there. Twist, torsion, it's un torsion, it's a twist. And then we can just go switch. Oh, how easy is that? Twist, bring your hand up, cross it over, twist. Breathing in, are we alive? Yeah. Good, you're still breathing, right? Feel that good in your body, okay. So we have gold, who else wants to tell me what's in their treasure chest? Silver. Silver? Okay, jewelry, let's make some jewels. We'll do the camel for another jewel, right? So turn your toes under, touch. Can you touch your heels back there? Yeah. Can you do that? Good. Press your hips forward, open your heart. Ah, oh, feels so good, beautiful, beautiful. And then we can bow down, reach it forward. Ah, oh, we're so grateful for our journey. And then we can roll it up. Good, and now it's time. We've done our yoga, we'll do a little relaxation. So after we've gone up and had fun, we wanna come down too, we balance everything out. So now you get to lie on your back and have your palms facing up and just closing your eyes. And I know it'll be really tempting to look around, look, 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 look. See everything, but remember, Lalita's watching. And we want to have that discipline so that we can turn inward and find what's there. We're going to find the gold in your heart. Oh, no, I'm sitting up because I have to talk to you, but you guys get to lie down. So we're just going to find your breath, close your eyes. If you have a sock or anything, So we've done our yoga, we've done our stories, we've done the work. Now we get to be kind to ourselves and enjoy the relaxation. Every day we can take time, no matter how old you are, just for a little quiet time. So breathing in and out, enjoy your breath. It's always there with you. It's just a moment away to remind ourselves that oh, I'm breathing. I'm breathing in and out and I'm alive. I'm in my body. And oh, what a beautiful moment it is.
that moment away of our breath and our life. So just imagine that inside your heart, breathe it in that there's a beautiful sun, warm and golden. See it with your mind's eye right inside your heart. Breathe it in. And then when you exhale, imagine that that sun comes right up above you and it's shining down. Warm and so relaxing it feels on you. That warm sun, it touches your toes. Oh, your toes feel golden and relaxed. It touches your whole feet, all of the feet. They get absorbed, the sun's light, and they relax. They sink down into the earth. You can breathe it out. Hmm, relaxing. The sun's rays, they massage your ankles and your calves your knees, and your thighs, while both legs, they feel so heavy with the light and feel so good. We can breathe it out. Breathing out, let everything go. Breathing in the sun, it massages our belly and our chests, moves up to our arms, it goes down into our elbows, Oh, the golden light massages it so nicely. And then the sun moves up to our shoulders, arms, elbows, forearms. Comes down to our wrists and hands, fingers, where our whole body from the neck down is filled with that warm sunlight. And you know what? That sunlight comes from inside of you. And then the sun, it goes to your neck, touches your jaw, relaxes any tension in your jaw, touches your lips, cheeks, your nose and your eyes, your forehead and eyebrows, your ears. Your whole head is now filled with that warm sunlight. It feels so peaceful, so relaxed. And there's nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to compete for, nothing to buy. We're just being with our breath. And then let your mind just drop down back into your heart. Find inside there in your mind's eye, you see your own treasure chest. Just see it. Maybe it's decorated with jewels. What does your treasure chest look like? And then see that treasure chest as you lie there, so relaxed, breathing in and out. Just imagine it opens up just a tiny bit, teeny tiny bit, and the crack of light comes out. We know that that treasure chest always there inside your heart. This peaceful feeling is always just a moment away. But now we can look inside that treasure chest and we can see all the jewels in there. And you can think about what jewels are in your treasure chest. Maybe you're a really kind little person to all your friends. Maybe you help your mom and dad. Maybe you play a musical instrument really well. Whatever it is that you want or all those special gifts or maybe we want to have peace and we can put peace for the world and peace for our hearts in there. So imagine what are your little jewels in there, what you have and what you would like to have. And then just know that they're always there. And then you can just let that go and relax and enjoy the sound of silence.
in your breath. You can wiggle your toes and fingers. You can stretch your arms up over your head, lying on your back. And then you can roll, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a big hug, whatever you're doing. Give yourself a big hug for practicing yoga, for listening and telling stories. And you can roll to your right side. Oh, you're all up already. And then coming up. Would anybody like to share what was in their treasure chest? A unicorn. Oh, that's wonderful. It was a unicorn. Anybody else? Thank you for sharing. A wig. A what? A wig. A wig. A wig. A wig. I want to put a wig on. That'd be fun. I like to have like a play chest, costume chest. Oh yes, I love those. We have lots of those. Anybody else want to share? What else is in your chest? Okay. Remember, your imagination is always there for you and that peaceful feeling. So, does anybody, I need three people who's going to tell me the beginning of the peddler's story, the middle of the story, and the end. So who wants to tell me the beginning of the story? Go ahead. Peddler knocks on the door to sell stuff. Who else knows what happens next? He came home. He lived in the country. Just a little shack with a big apple tree next to it. Um, it was so big and it was so old that the roots were growing out of the ground and pushing up the house. Um, he's very happy with the house. Good. And then what happens next? What happens next? Uh, someone says, go to Douglas and... He does three times, and he gets killed, and something happens. That's right. He had that dream at three times. So, anybody else? What happened? What happens next? Um, after that, um, after the three dreams, he decides, okay, I'll go, and he meets tons of people, and um, he tries new food, and finally gets there, and he sits there for days. Then finally, he goes to... And then he sits there for a whole day. And then he goes to sleep. Who wants to tell me what happens at the end? What happens? How about, uh, you tell me a little bit, and then you tell me the very end. What happens next? Um, this guy tells him, wait, um, he wakes up, and he's, um, like, nothing special is going to happen, so he starts to walk away. And this guy says, um, I was watching you, and, um, tells him, the very end. You're on, Megan. You're on. You, sweetie. Yeah, you get to finish the story. You get to finish the story. What happens at the very end after he discovers that? That's his apple tree, his treasure. What did he do? He ran all the way home and he found his what? Under the tree. His treasure chest, that's right. So this story, you're already storytellers, and you already know all sorts of yoga. Does anybody want to show me one yoga pose you could come home and do today? Who wants to show me? Go ahead. Show me one yoga pose that you learned today that you could do with your family at home and retell this story. Oh, good. We're touching our toes. Uttanasana, very good. Thank you. Another one, what are you going to do? What can you show us that you learned? Oh, beautiful. That's a very nice pose. Excellent. So all of us parents, we can come home and tell these, this story, practice yoga together, and then you can even start talking about, like, so what's going on in your life? What's in your heart? What did you dream about last night? What do you want to do? Because we're all that peddler, right? And we're all following our dreams. And we could use yoga and story to make life fun and get us through, okay? So we have just one more thing that we get to do. Because there's one thing inside our mind 
And we tend to have a lot of chitter chatter, right? Sometimes we think, oh, I'm stupid. Uh, uh. It's hard of thinking. So we're going to replace that thought with some positive thoughts. And this little guy here, this, he's called a limberjack. But this guy's name is Ernie. And so when, whenever we have those negative thoughts like, oh, I can't follow my dream, or I'm not going to bother, we're selling ourselves out, right? We want to change those thoughts. We want to say, yes, I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to follow my dream. So we're going to, I'm going to sing a little bit, a simple song called Love and Peace and Happiness. And I think you will know the tune, okay? Love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness all through the world. Think you can help me with that song? Ready? So we can just sing it over and over again. You ready? Listos, todos. Love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness all through the world. Love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness all through the world. One more time. Love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness, love and peace and happiness all through the world. Woo! There you go. So, it's been such a delightful time with you all. I thank you for coming. And now we get to bow out to each other. And I hope that the joy and peace and the healing of yoga and stories be with you now and for all of your tomorrows. Namaste. So we'll say goodbye, Lalita. Adios. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bones. Goodbye. Be sure to drink lots of water. And don't forget to follow your hearts. Au revoir, au revoir. Have a very good day. Goodbye, goodbye. Namaste, thank you. <laughs> good job, everybody, good job. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me. Say namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me. Say namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. Namaste. It's what you say. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me. Say namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me. Say namaste. Namaste is what you say to the good in you and the good in me. Say namaste every day and the world will live in harmony. Namaste.